Okay, let's have a look how to actually navigate through the site, through sort of move around Moodle. Um, in this particular case, we're going to go to a course that I currently run with my year 11 students. Um, and as you can see, I've got a list of resources listed. So, for example, I want them to open up a resource on uh, useful leaks on a particular economic concept that I created. Um, as you can see, a new window opens, and I will cover this um, in another topic when it comes to creating resources. But in this case, a new window has opened. I read it, I can expand it, I can mise it, just like any other Windows um, uh, window in Windows, and then I can close it, okay, or Mac for that matter. Now, what you see up above here is something I've alluded to in previous screencasts, is the breadcrumb navigation. So BCC student, that's the main site, category society environment, and the course year 11 economics. Right, let's have a look at, for example, um, let's have a look at a wiki that the students are currently creating on inflation. Okay, and I want to see uh, how they've been going with uh, creating a wiki on inflation, the way it's measured. Um, what's really interesting, rather than the answer, which is sort of in in its infancy at the moment, is this This at the top, this is the name of the wiki, this is the, where the, the, the main wiki page where it comes from, this is the collection of other wikis on this website, okay, I'll click at it, I see we got one on unemployment, on one on low inflation, right? and I can simply then go back to, I navigate back, I follow the trail of breadcrumbs, if you like, back to the course. Okay. The reason we use breadcrumb navigation and it's so recommended is, is that Moodle is essentially a database. So, and every time you use, every time you use breadcrumb navigation to go back and forth, that uh, it's almost the e e equivalent of pressing the reload button. I.e., it refreshes the information. So the information you get will be the most current. If you use the backward and forwards button, the information that you get may not actually be up to the very second and if you work in a particularly time sensitive um, task for example forum and lots of people are contributing at all time at all the time or uh, creation of a wiki during a class I would thoroughly encourage to use breadcrumb navigation and actually get into habit of using it all the time okay